Welcome back to the next episode of the Dancer, Dancer Cruise. In the previous one, previous two, we wrote a Dancer application, or actually we looked at a Dancer application, a Hello World application, and how, to, it, uh, how it's being tested, but we haven't written it ourselves. So in this episode, we're going to take a look at how to write uh, the application ourselves. For that, uh, first of all, let me switch to uh, the uh, file explorer, and uh, you remember we were in this directory and the, inside the curse directory we had all the slides but um, yeah, I think it's better to have a separate directory where we're going to put all of the examples that we are writing, that you are writing. So I'm going to create a new right click in this file explorer, uh, create a new folder and then I just call it dancer. Okay, so I'm going to put all the dancer examples there. And then we are in, uh, running the Visual Studio code. So we run the Visual Studio code that you have already installed. And here we are going to uh, start writing this uh, small application. So for that, usually you will open, a, sorry, not this uh, one, uh, usually open a folder. So open a folder and then uh, there's where you are working in if you have a project. So here I, we can select the, the directory, the dancer directory, and uh, say select fo folder. And now, um, Visual Studio Code sort of knows about this uh, directory and all its subdirectories if we have them. Um, so what we need is to create first of all a little per program. And let me start with a, with a little program that just say uh, print hello world. Okay, so nothing uh, special. I just want to make sure that we can actually uh, what can, we can actually write just spring uh, simple per programs. So I will going to call it app.pl in this in this case and save it. Okay, and it's, it's saving as you can see, it's saving in the dancer directory. So once I saved it, it recognizes that because it's a dot .pl file, that's a Perl file, um, nice camel here, and then we can run it. So in order to run it, we can go to the terminal outside uh, the uh, power uh, power um, shell or cmd but we can also use the internal terminal of um, a visual studio code so here we come to the terminal menu item and click on terminal actually we can also do that with by pressing control and the back tick uh, control shift back tick actually is there so we can uh, jump to this uh, window the terminal window and here i can type in perl and then can app.pl and it prints hello world Normally, I would put also use strict and use warnings in a script, even if it's just for demo purposes. But I just wanted to make sure that we can run some per program in this in this code. So now let's go and uh, write uh, that same Hello World application that we had, uh, just so you can see how uh, I can do it. And uh, so I create the package. We, we can actually look at the look at the, you can look at, look at the slide. So if we switch back to the slides. Uh, that's the testing one. So in the previous one, this is, this is basically what we have to type in um, and run it. So package app, and then we have to import uh, the dancer module, dancer two, and then we have to run the uh, write the run, the the route. So this is the route. Sorry, and then uh, it uh, maps to an anonymous subroutine. So this is an anonymous subroutine which just returns hello. Okay, semicolon. Now you might remember uh, you have to put a semicolon here. I usually forget it. Uh, now let's leave it out just so we can see what happens if we don't have it. App arrow and uh, to app. And that's it. So I save it and now I can come to the terminal and I can click on with the, with the mouse or control uh, back tick will uh, let me jump there. So control back to uh, let me jump there. And now I write in pluck up. And if I just try and pluck up here, then it will say it can't find the app.psgi because as if you might recall, I called it app.pl. So I have two choices here. Either I can run up, uh, tell uh, pluck up that I'm, I would like it to run app.pl or I can rename uh, my program. In this case, I try to do up.pl and it says that the semicolon is, uh, seems to be missing at line 7. So exactly that's what I told you that uh, going to happen that uh, the missing semicolon. So I added that one and I run it again 
the program and this time it runs it launches the browser so I can the web server sorry and then you can come to the browser and type in localhost 5000 and it shows me the, the hello so that's basically the, the example I wanted to show you now we can stop the browser the, the program I have to control C will stop it uh, but it still asks me if I really want to quit it and now we can uh, rename it if you if you prefer to have it renamed so I right click here on the name of the file let's say rename psgi save it uh, it still knows that it's it's a per program and then I can come here and write pluck up just without any parameter and it will run the program just as we uh, did before so now you can actually go ahead and uh, write your uh, own program or uh, try to play with uh, with this application and of course we uh, uh, write a test as well so that's it for now we'll go on in the next video